since I have a few minutes at home and I'm getting packed up to head back out on the trail, thought I'd take this opportunity to show y'all what's in my backpack. Uh, my backpack is the ULA Ohm 2.0 and I really like it. This is a new pack for me this year. Uh, it carries weight very nicely. Uh, much more comfortably than some of the other uh, ultralight backpacks I've used in the past. The only thing that I would say is a negative about this pack is that these uh, strings on the side are static line, and I think I would prefer it if they were bungee, but you know, I could replace those. So, getting right down to it. This is actually right now packed up to go back to the trail although um, I will put food in here and uh, take the electronics out for plane travel I am taking the six moon designs umbrella and uh, I, I don't really like hiking with the umbrella so much so I will try to hike um, early and late maybe night hiking but during the heat of the day what's going on here there we go yes but during the heat of the day when there's no shade and I can just hang out the temperature is significantly cooler under this umbrella than sitting in the bright sunlight so hopefully this will get me through the next uh, 150 miles or so, 125, I think, until I start heading up high. So we'll leave that there because I can't figure out. All right. So this is just a little dry sack, and I use it for a town wallet. It has my passport and information in it, and uh, um, oh, ibuprofen, and a mask for when I'm in town. And I bury this in the bottom of my pack, except when I go to town. This is my prime butt pad. I just took a couple of prime bubble wrap envelopes and duct taped them together and use this for a sit pad on the trail. I have paper maps and compass. Um, I actually also, for this section, I uh, cut out the big map sections out of a recreational road atlas because it um, shows me where a lot of these crossroads go that I have no idea looking at gut hooks. The like scope of the map is such a small amount of detail, it's really hard to plan an alternate. So hopefully that'll help. I have a ditty bag in here. I have sunscreen, my spoon, um, repair pocket knife. It has the all important tweezers in it. Um, There's a thermorest repair kit, little first aid. Um, hygiene. Uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, a couple of wet ones for toweling off in the evening, um, a little hairbrush, and my sleep mask. I know this is a luxury item and people use buffs, but I don't like anything pushing on my eyeballs when I'm trying to sleep, and this I call this my eyebrow. <laughs> It has little cups, so there's no pushing on my eyeballs when I'm trying to sleep. This sack is just a little Granite Gear air sack. I love the fact that it opens like this so I can open it up and see everything without having to dump everything out. And uh, I used this on my PCT hike in 2005, so obviously it's held up well to the wear. Here's one of the 
big three. Big three is your pack, your tent, and your sleeping system. Well, my sleeping system is down here at the bottom. But this is the tent that I use. It's a six moon design lunar solo. And it uh, pitches with the trekking pole and six little titanium stakes. And I love this tent. It's perfect for me. It has room for me, for my gear, gets me out of the weather, has a fully enclosed bug net, a bathtub floor. Great. My food bag, I use this light AF DCF um, food sack. And for odor protection, I use two turkey roaster bags. This is a trick I learned on the Pacific Crest Trail. And the only time I have had a rodent get into my food, eat a hole in my tent, was when I forgot to bring these on a section hike. So um, the theory is you put your food and smelly items into one of these and then put another one on top and the animals don't come and bother you. And whether it's true or not I don't know but it has worked for me so far my water filtration I am using smart water bottles and the Sawyer squeeze so I have a, a little adapter on the bottom of my Sawyer and this screws right into the water bottle and I use a uh, CNOC, I don't know how to pronounce that word, bladder for my dirty water bag. Um, I have actually, since I came home, I have a new filter and a new bag. So luxuries I wouldn't have normally had had I not had to come home in the middle. But so this screws onto here and I just squeeze the water through the filter into the clean water bottle. And I actually, I have this little, it's like a, a little Walmart bag, heavy duty plastic sack that I can, for the situations where I have to go off trail a ways to get water and I don't want to necessarily carry my full pack to the water source and then back to the trail, I can um, use this to uh, shuttle my water bottles down to the water source and then back up to the trail. A, um polycro ground cloth that's just made from like the wind film window coverings and i use this on the trail so far and it's worked pretty well although i did get one puncture hole into my thermorest but it's been repaired now so as far as electronics these will have to go in my carry-on i have um the garmin inreach mini and I use this mainly at night to send my location to a select group of people who care about where I'm at. And then I can text message different people. I actually use this to text message a trail angel when I um, had two icons on gut hooks for the same place and I needed to know which one was correct. So this has been really helpful. I can also pull in real-time weather for my specific location on this. Um, it's a great thing. I have a rechargeable headlamp, the Nightcore NU25, I believe that is. Um, it's a great little headlamp. And I am carrying two 10 milliamp Anker battery packs. I also, for when I'm in town, have a dual port wall charger that's supposed to quick charge and, you know, various cables for charging my watch, my phone, the onkers. Weather protection, other than my umbrella, I have this um, Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket. And, you know, the only thing, I like it really well so far. I do wish it had pockets here for my hands. But that's the only criticism I would have of it. It's super light.
my cook kit. I made this uh, little pot cozy out of Reflectix and it really works well. I kind of the jury was out on whether or not I would keep that in the mix, but it really significantly reduces the amount of fuel that I need to use to heat water. Um, I have a little pot lifter and this stove is the MSR Pocket Rocket, and it screws onto a fuel canister, which I will have to try and find one when I get back to Albuquerque. Uh, this is a luxury item for me, which is a, a coffee cup. Totally addicted to coffee. Love having my coffee in this cup in the morning. If I wanted to save weight, I could totally just use this pot as a cup, but... I haven't gotten that serious about being ultralight just yet. One of my girlfriends here made me these cute little tie-dye uh, towels, and I use this thing every single day. I wipe out my mug, I wipe out my pot, and then I use it to keep my stove and uh, pot lifter from clanging around in my pack. So this is my clothing bag. Uh, I have um, sleeping clothes in here, extra underwear, extra socks, a knee brace, and some gloves. Things I took out of there, I had a pair of long john bottoms, and I'm mailing those ahead to Cuba because I really don't think with the temperature forecast to be near 100 degrees, um, for that next 125 mile stretch that I'm going to need those long pants. Uh, I also had some outer uh, waterproof mitts and I'm sending those to Cuba as well. This is the other part of my big three uh, is the uh, my sleeping system. I am using the Neo Air Uber Light. Um, I did manage to get one tiny little pinhole which I have patched so Fingers crossed I can keep this thing going all the way to Colorado. Another part of my sleeping system is this silk sleeping bag liner. I have altered this um, to be smaller. It was gigantic. And uh, I also use this as a skirt when I'm in town doing my laundry. So of this thing. So I have decided to swap out my 20 degree quilt that I love, it's Enlightened Equipment Enigma quilt, for my trusty old Western Mountaineering Highlight. It's a 35 degree bag, it weighs just right in at a pound, and um, truthfully the quilt was just too warm to sleep in. and. Uh, I guess I'm hoping this will be warm enough to get me into Colorado. I think it will be. And the last bit of insulation I have in here is um, the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer Puppy Coat with a hood. So, oh, I also sent home a wool beanie. All right, I'm sending ahead. I am also sending ahead a wool beanie that I think it's just redundant. And I have the hood on this puppy coat, so if I'm cold and I need a hat, I can wear this. The pack liner that I use is a Gossamer Gear Nyloflume pack liner. And that is it. Usually during, the, so these pockets here on the sides of the pack are nice and big and I can fit three of these bottles in one side. So I am increasing my water bottle capacity for this upcoming stretch because it's going to be super hot and super dry. Usually um, in this pocket back here, you know, I'll carry my 
sanitation kit, toilet paper and hand sanitizer, snacks for the day. Um, if it's cold in the morning, I might wear my jacket and then stuff it in here or roll it up onto the top. But that's it. That's everything in my pack. Let me know if y'all have any questions about any of the items in my pack or anything else in any of my videos. I'm happy to try and answer. I'm looking forward to getting back on the trail. I know it's going to be a rough go with the hot temperatures and uh, probably be some 3 a.m. mornings for me and some night hiking and uh, we'll see if we can't get it done. This is the gear that I started the trail with. So I can't talk about what's in my pack without mentioning the things that I've already sent home. Uh, right off the get-go, after that first section from the Crazy Cook Monument to Lordsburg, I sent quite a few things home with my boyfriend that just weren't working out for me on the trail. So uh, one of the things I sent home right off the get-go is this... Uh, little Canon camera. I had decided to carry this, which is basically a bridge camera. So it's a high end point and shoot with a good zoom lens versus a digital, digital SLR camera, just because of the weight and the bulk of carrying um, a nicer camera and various lenses. And uh, I found that my phone takes just as good photographs as the bridge camera so I really wasn't using it and there wasn't that much wildlife that I needed to zoom in on so I probably only took like three photographs with this camera in the first section. Also I sent home the peak camera clip that um, attaches to the front strap of my uh, backpack and um, it just didn't work for me. Uh, I don't have a lot of real estate in this area on my body. I'm sh a short person and uh, it constantly threw me out of kilter and caused back pain and uh, it, it just wasn't a viable option for me. So I sent home this ridiculous freaking hat. I thought it might be good for, you know, keeping the sun off of me, but it's just too darn big. And so the back of it kept hitting the top of my pack and the front of it kept covering my eyeballs. So <laughs> just a little baseball cap worked best for me to hike in. So this got sent home and sent home a pillow because I just could not get comfortable on this pillow no matter what level of inflation I had. Um, so I'm using my clothing bag for a pillow now and it works great. I sent home a buff because I haven't used it once. So a piece of Tyvek because I've been using the Polypro window covering as a ground cloth. I'm using charger for the camera too. That was like a significant amount of weight. I had about two, two and a half pounds of camera gear that I wasn't using, and so it all got sent home. When I was in reserve, New Mexico, I took a couple days off trail to try and let my knee heal up. That was giving me severe problems. And I ruthlessly went through my backpack 
and sent a lot of things home. And some of you have asked, what was in that big old box that you sent home? So I'm going to open it up right now and show you. So, um, I sent home rain pants. I have n did not wear these. I don't think I'm ever going to wear these in New Mexico. So I sent them home. Um, like extra vitamins, allergy medicine, extra. See, okay, every resupply box, I got new first aid supplies new um, toilet paper and um, sometimes just because I didn't want to throw them away I carried them so my pack had gotten quite heavy with extra things that I really didn't need for the specific section I was hiking um, I sent home an extra sleep shirt um, I found these gloves on the trail if they belong to anybody <laughs> let me know but I couldn't leave them there they look brand new uh, extra mask, um, coloring projects that my girlfriend sent to me that I wanted to keep. Uh, I was originally carrying three Anker 10 milliamp battery packs, but even coming through um, the Gila River section on the Middle Fork where I took my time and did low mileage days. I only used two, so I sent one of them home. Uh, I sent home the umbrella clip on my pack because all this does is tangle up my hair. Sent home, I had two buffs and I haven't used a single one of them, so I sent this one home. Uh, I love this Pimps lip balm, and it's like eight bucks a tube and really hard to find. So even though I had two of them in my pack, I couldn't throw them away or donate them. So I carried them. It's like weight, stupid weight. My girls sent me these wonderful cards, how to swear around the world. So I had to keep these, clearly. My umbrella. Um extra first aid stuff, extra dead cats for my microphone, for my, just like lots of stuff that I didn't need to have in my pack all the time. So the umbrella, because I'm heading out into um, upper 90 degree temperatures with very little shade, um, I'm putting this back into the mix. So I'm going to carry this uh, into Grants and on into Cuba. But that's it, miscellaneous junk that was in my pack just weighing me down that I didn't need to be carrying. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And ring that bell so you can get a notification whenever I post a new video. Happy trails, y'all.